Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. At the end of the last video I mentioned a problem that I came across that I'm going to take the opportunity to uh, solve and show you how I will be solving that. Uh, this is the Android Studio that I have open and this is part of the uh, code for the app that I installed on the Samsung Galaxy tablet that I have. Now one of the great features or options of uh, this and Android Studio is that when you go to run the app, you say run, you have two options. You have the option of going ahead and immediately installing it uh, on your physical device or you can run it in emulation mode on a virtual device. Uh, I noticed that I didn't have that option for the virtual device and it says here that your CPU does not support VT-X. Um, did not know what that meant so looked it up and this is Intel VT or virtualization technology is the company's hardware assistance for processors running virtualization platforms. The Intel VT-X extensions are probably the best recognized extensions, adding migration, priority, and memory handling capabilities to a wide range of Intel processors. So looking into this further, I came across uh, this utility that I think I've used before. I usually get uh, Intel motherboards and uh, I know I've gone to the Intel website before. So with this utility here under CPU technologies, uh, here's the category Intel virtualization technology. No, it is not available. So it is not available on the uh, Intel Core Duo CPU E4400 at 2 gigahertz. So that's the processor that I have in the Optiplex 745, which I upgraded the uh, memory and installed a uh, video card so this is uh, I was hoping that that's uh, this machine here is where I was going to develop or learn how to develop Android apps so I looked into it further and found out that um, perhaps upgrading the CPU is going to help me out so for the sum total of six dollars and seventy nine cents with free shipping I found an Intel Pentium E6600 running at uh, 3.06 gigahertz and in the next video I will be installing that into the Dell Optiplex and hopefully will gain the ability to um, use a virtual device or emulation mode be able to emulate the Galaxy Samsung tablet that I have and you know troubleshoot any problems with the app before actually loading them onto the um, physical device. So it, it will also uh, be of benefit to just be able to use be a lot easier just to use the keyboard to type in the commands uh, instead of using the physical or the um, the keyboard that's on the tablet. Uh, is that a, like a virtual keyboard? And uh, yeah, so I came across this problem and hopefully um, I'll take advantage of this opportunity and uh, create a video, show you uh, how I'm going to show the process of upgrading the CPU in this Dell Optiplex. So, so I hope you found this information useful. If you found this video interesting, Please like, subscribe, and or comment, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.